I went a little crazy again. I'm sorry, it just happens. Welcome back to my channel. My name is April if you've never been here before and I wanted to do a book haul today, but not Yeah, I know but not a physical book haul an ebook haul because recently it was stuff your Kindle day my favorite holiday <laughs> If you're like me and you know what you don't have unlimited funds Things like Stuff Your Kindle Day is perfect because you can get just a ton of free books from lots of different authors. And what I do with Stuff Your Kindle Day is I actually take this time to seek out new authors I've never read from before and try things that maybe I wouldn't normally try um, that are kind of in my genre that I like to read. <laughs> so I kind of I got like 50 books, 50. I know, it's a lot. So settle in, let's just get started right away. So I broke this up into categories and this first one is going to be YA. First book that I have is An Air Comes to Rise. Um, this is by Chloe, blah, 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 blah. That's, that's not her name. Chloe C. Panyaranda, hopefully I said that right. Um, this one just sounded cool. Of course, there's a strong FMC right on the cover. Already sold. Something about Fae, something about swords, um, something about kingdoms. Listen, I, I, I didn't need to know anymore, okay? I just downloaded it. <laughs> the next one is Maiden of Candlelight and Lotuses. This is by Anastasis Blythe. And the Clearly the cover got me, it's gorgeous. And this is claimed as Mulan goes to Hogwarts. Okay, sounds good. Another YA, um, I haven't been reading a lot of YA, but I kind of like want to try some again to kind of get me in that YA feeling. So that's why I downloaded a lot of these. The next one is Ice Crown by K.L. Moody. I have heard of this author before, but I don't think I've read that many books from them. Um, this is a novella and it's about a competition. Um, clearly a kingdom of something with ice. <laughs> competition. <laughs> this again is a series of novellas. There's like 12 in total, but I love me a good fantasy romance novella. So we're gonna try it. The next is Queen of Fate and Fury. This is a Greek mythology retelling by Kyla Stone. And the tagline got me on this one, a heroes, a heroes, the tagline on this, cat, trouble, trouble, trouble. Okay, Queen of Fate and Fury. It's a Greek mythology retelling from Kyla Stone. And the tagline in this one got me and it says, a hero sworn to slay the monster, a princess determined to save it. Only one can live. Um, yeah, I'll read it. And we have A Throne of Shadows. Um, this is by Tassanja Odette. I have heard of this author before, but I don't think I've read anything by them before. So it seemed like a good one to try out. It says a feisty outlaw, a conniving prince, and a war of magic and shadows. This does say it's for upper YA, and there's a little bit of gore. Um, keyword there for me. <laughs> <laughs> adult situations. So I'm picturing characters more in their 18, 19, 20s, something like that. Um, but yeah, magic, witches, outlaws, fae. Love it. Okay, my next category is paranormal. So all things vampires, witches, werewolves, those kind of things. <laughs> the first paranormal book that I have is Court of Shadows. This is a novella at 224 pages. Love me some short books. And it's by C.N. Crawford, who I, again, I have heard of, but I don't think I've ever read a book from them. And the beginning of this says, Rags to Riches is supposed to be a nice fantasy. Going from a cheap London hovel to an elite fate institute should be amazing, especially when it involves a medieval castle. It's just not so great when the aristocratic jerks in the tower want to crush you. Love it. 
The next is A Pack of Storms and Stars by Olivia Wildenstein. I have read a book, I have read a couple books I think from her. I read Feather a long time ago, it was about angels. Um, this one is about werewolves, I think, or shifters, some kind of pack. Looks like she has to break up with her alpha. <laughs> uh, that's probably some drama. And the next book is Clouded by Envy by Candace Robinson. Um, this says it's a first installment with shifters, scorching romance, and morally gray characters. Um, sounds like she wants, he wants to be human, but she just wants to save him. Is she making him a vampire? What is going on? I don't want to read too much into this, but it sounds kind of cool. And again, it's a novella, so gotta love those short books. The next is Immortal Queen by S.P. Woods. This is a human woman being thrust in between a centuries-long feud between a kingdom of elves and vampires. It sounds a little bit like she's even maybe a vampire hunter. Say less. And then I downloaded Monster Hunter. It says various authors, so I think this is more of an anthology, but this just totally gave me supernatural vibes, so I had to, to download it. Uh, again, I don't know anything about this book. <laughs> Yeah, I see a lot of different authors when I look at the table of contents. So maybe just a lot of novellas surrounding monster hunting, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm down for that. I Like anything that looks like supernatural, like even if there's no romance, I, I, I need to read. And then I downloaded Hunting Werewolves and Other Bad Dates. <laughs> this says a hilarious urban fantasy, romantic comedy. And this is by Kel Carpenter. Um, I have seen a lot of books from Kel Carpenter, but I have not read any of them. In fact, I think I have a few already on my Kindle. So um, it seems like less romance, more paranormal stuff, but um, yeah, I'm kind of interested in it. Again, novella. So, and this cover is kind of super cute. So I'll, yeah, I'll try it. A lot of these books were kind of giving me these classic like urban fantasy, paranormal vibes. And so that's why I kind of downloaded some of them, like Dark Hunt, a snarky urban fantasy series. And this is by Kim Richardson. Kim Richardson, I do have more books in my Kindle from them and I really wanna try them out. Again, I think this is just more paranormal and not romance, but I can deal with that. That's fine, that's fine. A Hunter with a Secret, a String of Mysterious Deaths, and a foul-mouthed Siamese cat familiar. Okay, when it said foul-mouthed Siamese cat familiar, that is exactly why I clicked um, buy now. <laughs> this one I think I had on Kindle Unlimited for a while, and then when I saw it on Stuff Your Kindle Day, I was like, oh my god, I can just have that in my Kindle forever now, because now it's free. And this is Dragons Don't Eat Meat by Kim McDougall. In fact, I think I told Becky to read this book. I don't know anything about it. Did you ever try it, Becky? Probably not. <laughs> She's probably like, hell no, I'm not trying that, April. What's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> well, I'm gonna try it, okay? All I know is exactly what's on the cover. It just sounds cool. Um, I think it is not a novella. It's, it's a full length, but I don't care. I don't care, okay? It's giving me the Monster Hunter vibes, and uh, I'm gonna try it. Disenchanted is the next one, and this is by Brianna. Sugalski. Hopefully I said that right. And this one said it was The Princess Bride and Buffy the Vampire Slayer meet Sarah J. Mass's Throne of Glass. Like I'm thinking monsters. I'm thinking strong female main character. Uh, hello. I, this just sounded too cool not to download. Give it to me now. This honestly sounds like kind of an adventure. She's like locked up in a castle because of a secret for years. And then she begrudgingly trades in her coronet for a cloak to go to this forest where a barkeep um, begs her for help. Uh, yeah, this, this sounds like an adventure. And then I have Nightfall by L.H. Cosway. Okay, admittedly, this type of art gets me for some reason. I mean, look at my phone, okay? I, it's a moon and, and a sun and, you know, I just really like it. So I kind of <laughs> kind of gravitated toward it because of that. Um, this is a novella. 
Oh, this is the one where it says, Tegan encounters all kinds of crazies working the night shift at a 24 hour grocery store. None of them, however, have anything on the handsome stranger who comes in one night and helps her fend off an armed robber. He looks the thief directly in the eye and without confrontation convinces him to turn around and walk out the door. Okay, he meets up with her at a club because he tried to go, you're not gonna remember this. And she of course does remember this. And then it goes from there. I was like, mm, vampire, immediately vampire, right? He's trying to use his like coercion. What is it? Suggestion thing on her mm, and it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Uh, I have so many questions already. Um, yes, I'm reading this. So the next category is retellings and I have two of them. The first one being A Curse of Frost and Fate by Averica Sloan. Um, this one says it's a Nutcracker retelling and um, it says it's a very spicy Nutcracker retelling. So I figured this would be a good one to read next Christmas time, holiday time, why not, you know? And then the other one is King of Nothing, which is a Y Chu's Peter Pan retelling. Um, and it's a dark Peter Pan retelling. Uh, that, that gets me right away. Oh, it says the Lost Boys turn out to be violent, vicious men, and I am their plaything. Okay, this is giving me the Never King vibes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, y'all know I love that series. <laughs> The next category is Fae. I, I, like, it was hard to figure out some of these categories because there's so many different kinds of fantasy romance, so we just went with Fae on this one, okay? And I have seven. And this book is actually the first one I downloaded for the whole Stuff Your Kindle Day sale. So this was Stolen Thread Witch Bride, and this is by Claire Sager. I actually really love Claire Sager's books. I, I love her pirate one. That one's great. Um, I did read a book already from this series by Angela J. Ford, The Stolen Ice Bride, and I actually really liked it. So I want to try this one as well. They're all about women being stolen by Faye and <laughs> becoming rides. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one says it has a feisty heroine and an arrogant fey lord and a steamy. I love steamy. <laughs> and then we have Of Mist and Shadows by Jenna Wolfhart. I have seen this book before, but for whatever reason, never gave it a chance. You know what? But then Stuff Your Kindle Day came around and I was like, okay, why not? Perfect time. And it says, when a vicious fey king catches Tessa stealing powerful gemstones, he demands a cruel punishment. She must leave her family and friends behind and become his future bride. Okay, so, uh, you have me. <laughs> and then we have Night in His Eyes. This is an enemies to lovers Faye fantasy romance by Allison Faye. Oh, how nice. Your name is Faye and you wrote a Faye book. Well, coincidence. A war of fey houses, a prince waking up from darkness and a woman drenched in blood. What is that about? Adult, high heat, slow burn, fey fantasy, progressively darker romance. Mmm. For readers of morally gray princes and bloodthirsty heroines. <laughs> ah, yes, that's me. That's me. And then we have A Crown of the Phoenix, total cover by, total cover by, by C.A. Varian. Oh, that's right. This is the one where the sisters are both in an arranged marriage that their father set up and they run away from home because one of the sisters wants to marry another woman. So they try to run away to somewhere where that's allowed. And I was like, mm, okay, okay, okay. And they ran, they like run away into some kind of portal fantasy, a whole other realm type of thing. Yes, okay, this, that is exactly why I downloaded this. <laughs> And then I downloaded a Throne Among Fae, again, another Enemies to Lovers, Fae Fantasy um, by Joy Lewis. She would sooner steal his riches than open her heart to him. But when he hires her for a high-risk job, they must pretend to be what they're not before they're killed. A fake dating? Is this a fake dating? Oh, upper YA and A. Okay, I missed this one in the YA section. So this one's gonna be closer to YA. I just say, for perfect fans of the Cruel Prince and Akatar, dark fairy tale vibes. 
And then we have The Moonfire Bride by Sylvia Mercedes. I think this is a classic indie fantasy romance author. Again, perfect for fans of Akatar and the Curl Prince. Human girl stolen to be the bride of a doomed fey lord. Irresistibly romantic. This one is inspired by Hades and Persephone, as well as Eros and Psyche. Oh, and this has something to do with sisters again. Okay, I love it. And then we have Queen of Roses by Briar Bolin. This is more on the dark fae fantasy side. This sounds almost like a little bit of a road trip romance. Um, all I know is Morgan's blood is tainted. <laughs> and she's trying to figure something out. And as she travels, she's drawn to a strange group of outcasts led by a dark and enigmatic warrior. Of course, who isn't? And then things happen. Okay, sounds good. Okay, my next category is one of my favorites, which is why choose? <laughs> so the first one I have is A Captive of Wolves. And this is by Eva Chase, who I have heard is kind of like a queen of why choose. And I've never read a book by her. So had to try this out. Mm. For years, the monsters who kill my family have held me in a cage, brutalized and half starved, only kept alive so they can steal my blood until one evening when four eerily gorgeous men break me out of prison. Let me guess, they all like her. <laughs> so this looks like um, possessive wolf shifters, dangerous fey politics, a wounded heroine, and yeah, this sounds kind of cool. And then I downloaded Legacy of Shadows by Tessa Hale when I saw this. Um, I saw this going around booktube and bookstagram for a while and I was like, let's try it out, uh, why not? It is just shy of 300 pages, so it's on the smaller side. I love me a shorter fantasy romance, especially when it's white choose. And it sounds like this is more paranormal white choose. And I think she's only 18, so more on the new adult side. The best friend from my past, the surly brooder, the kind-hearted nerd, and the king of campus, the dark one. Which one do I like already? <laughs> and then we have a kingdom of flames and flowers, and this is by Ravenstorm, and it says it's a dragon shifter, Wychios. Say less. I didn't even read the synopsis. I just saw Dragon Shifter, Why Choose? And I was like, okay, sounds good. Oh, it's a novella. Again, I need to, I need to read it. If it's, a, if it's a novella, I'm gonna read it. And then the next one is Purge of the Pure, Monarchs and Monsters, book number one by Lainey Clover. The monarch must die, and I am just the girl to take his head. Again, you have me from the start. The vampire wants to suck me dry. The werewolf wants to eat me. The fae wants to put me under his spell and the brooding giant, I'm scared AF of the quiet one. <laughs> Holy shit, it's 610 pages, but it's complete novel. So it's standalone and there's no cliffhangers. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, this next one, I have no idea if it's actually a romance or if it's more of like an erotica. <laughs> wait, wait, I should probably check. I should probably check. It does say fantasy romance, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's called The Bridal Hunt. <laughs> it's by Jeanette Lynn. Honestly, I loved this cover. <laughs> it was says something about abominable. It says the word abominable like two or three times in the synopsis. And I was like, oh my God, is this a why you choose with abominable snowmen? Is this a Yeti romance? Is this the Yeti romance I've been trying to find my entire life? Um, yeah, hopefully it's why you choose paranormal, sci-fi, interdimensional time travel, fantasy monster romance with plenty of funnies and heart. Okay, it, this sounds like almost weird worthy. So yeah, I got it. It's not a short one though. It's 400 pages. Holy, ooh, I'll do it still, I'll do it. And this is one where I legit laughed at the cover. I don't know why, it's not a bad cover. It's, well, it's not a great cover, but it's also not a bad cover, but for some reason her face cracked me up. This is called The Pale Rider. <laughs> this is by J.B. Trepanier. 
<laughs> Again, another one I am probably butchered. I'm so sorry. Um, it said zombie apocalypse, paranormal, why choose romance? And that is all I saw. I immediately clicked download. Uh, I just saw this like almost rainbow pink hair and then the <laughs> monster in the background and she's just like, ah, listen, I don't even care. I don't even care. It, it's a novella. It's a novella. <laughs> Um, I did want to try a zombie apocalypse book at some point. Um, something that was more fun than, you know, dark and somber. Like, I just didn't want to read one of those. So I'm hoping this scratches that itch. And then we have The Binding by Rebecca Rath. This is, again, another paranormal. Why choose? This one says it's MMFM. So we get lots of action in this one. Callista lives a sheltered life until the day she is kidnapped and used in a sacrificial ceremony meant to drain her of a dormant power she knew nothing about. When the magic inside her is unlocked, it nearly kills her, but not before calling three mysterious and powerful men to her side. Of course, they're drawn to her. Okay, now moving on to my next category, which is dark. We've already gone over some dark ones and literally some of these are crossover but you know what these are just dark okay and the first one we have is hellfire by marielle pomeroy i have seen this book going around this one and the next one um i have no idea no idea what this is about all i know is it's dark high fantasy romance um and it says two immortal creatures one dangerous bargain I, this is kind of the book that I want to go into blind almost. How long is it? 400 pages. It's not bad. 400 pages is not bad for a fantasy romance, especially if it's um, like a duology or something like that. So uh, again, I don't know anything about this. I just know that it's very dark, very violent, very graphic. And I'm not mad at that. <laughs> so we'll try it. We'll see what, what I think about it. And then I have Pawn of the Cruel Princess. This is Rebecca F. Kenny book. I have already read a book in this series that was something to do with pirates. It was real good. I actually really loved it. And I love that all of these, even though there's like multiple books in this series, they are all standalones. And it's just some pretty good fantasy romance, honestly. I thought it was. It says it's great for fans of Guild by Raven Kennedy. So definitely will be on the darker side. Mm, it says when she's claimed by the handsome prisoner's sunshiny charm. Is she the grump and he's the sunshine? Is he going to make all her bad things feel better? Like, mm, okay, okay, all right, I'm down. And then my last dark one is The Cursed and the Broken by Chloe Hodge. This has something to do with witches. Let me see. And this says years ago, the dark queen was executed by witches. Her cultists hunted down like rats and forced into hiding. Their black magic buried and put to rest. All was well in the world, or so we thought. So it sounds like this is going to be a dark romance involving witches. And my next category is cozy. Um, I don't, I, I honestly don't read a lot of cozy ones. I need to read more of them. The first one is Beastly and Bookish. This is by Katrina Bell. This is a whole series with um, a different authors coming together for these kind of monster holiday romances. And um, the <laughs> I think the series is called Horned Up for the Holidays. So I'm going to save this for next Christmas because I do, I am a seasonal reader, okay? <laughs> All it says is it's a cozy contemporary holiday romance featuring a roller skating librarian and a book loving demon. Um, it's their emotional journey from friends to lovers. So I don't know, mm, like again, like I don't do cozy and I don't do friends to lovers that often. Can you change my mind? Sometimes I like to, to, to challenge myself. <laughs> Apparently this one will be one. And then we have The Warlock's Bride. Again, it says A Cozy Fantasy Romance by R.L. Medina. This is a novella. Um, Welcome to Zamara, where cozy fantasy intertwines with Italian cottagecore and fairycore. So if you like cottagecore and fairycore, looks like this book will be for you. 
It's a gas lamp fantasy realm. You know what? I have been seeing a lot of gas lamp fantasy romances out. I kind of want to try them more. So maybe this will be kind of interesting. Um, it looks like this is part of a series and each of them is a standalone. So there you go. And the last cozy book is The Lord of Stariel by A.J. Lancaster. And it says, it opens with, The Lord of Stariel is dead. Long live the Lord of Stariel. Whoever that is. <laughs> oh, there's something about a magical estate chooses the next ruler. Who is that going to be? Which, which family member is it going to be? Oh, this kind of sounds kind of interesting. Whoever Stariel chooses will have bigger problems than eccentric relatives to deal with. Winged, beautifully deadly problems. <laughs> oh, this sounds kind of fun and magical. Like, it just sounds kind of like magical. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, Howl's Moving Castle meets Downton Abbey. Well, that sounds amazing. A sentient estate, a magical inheritance, face shenanigans. These are hitting all of my keywords here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of these pictures are so cute. Okay, go on Amazon right now and look at some of the pictures and the details of the book description. They look so cool. Okay, my next category is alien. I, I, I didn't get a ton of alien, but some of these, I mean, I just got them because they were aliens. <laughs> The first one is Ruger's Pearl by Carlotta Hughes. I know this is a spicy author, so this will be a nice spicy alien romance. Um, I do have another one from this series, I think. So I just kind of wanted to get another one. So that way, if I liked it, I could binge them. And then I haven't read any of these, but I know Ava from Ava Reads Romance loves them. And this is um, Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers. And this one is Artek. Um, and this is by Honey Phillips. I think all of these are novellas. Let me double check. Yeah, this is only 162 pages, so really quick. And I've heard these are just on the cuter side of the alien romance. And then we have Saved by the Alien Pirate by S.R. Griffith. Honestly, it, I saw alien, I saw pirate, and I clicked download. And that that's all I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that's your thing, um, I think it certainly is mine. And then cover by totally, this is Trinity Falcon 7, book one by Ali Zarin. Um, this cover is gorgeous. Like, it is gorgeous. Trinity Murphy and her crew set out on a perfectly ordinary trip abroad their ship. It was supposed to be a simple trip to deliver toiletries to a refugee colony, but then a mystery crate with a military escort is loaded and everything goes to hell. Um, that's right, there's an alien in the, in the crate. <laughs> is this dude i sometimes i really love the author's notes authors please continue to put your notes at the bottom on the <laughs> synopsis because they literally make or break whether i'm gonna download your book it says this book is spicy if you don't like big metallic aliens with big horns this may not be the book for you <laughs> oh man i i'm kind of into it i really want to read this one and then I have Ascension Saga 1. This is by Grace Goodwin. I have read a book from Grace Goodwin before. Not a lot of them, so I thought I would get back into her books by trying this one out. And I think these are all novellas as well. And they kind of are like episodic. So like this is Saga 1, and then there's like two, three, four, however many there are. So I don't know anything about these. I think they are almost more space opera though than um, Alien, but there are aliens. Speaking of space opera, that is my next... <laughs> category. I have been really wanting to read a lot more space operas, so I got a few. So the Star Nomad is about an Alliance fighter pilot, and she has to steal a sh dilapidated and malfunctioning ship from a junkyard, only she doesn't know that on board is a cyborg waiting in the wings, and he hates Alliance fighter pilots, and he wants to use the ship for his own purposes. So sounds like they have to work together somehow, and I love that. Um, but yeah, fast-paced, fun space opera sci-fi, and I'm there. And then we have The Trader's Menagerie. This is by L.A. Corbeau, and all, all it took me to download this was Why Choose Space Opera. That's all. I think there's aliens, but I'm not sure. 
but I don't care. I'm going to try it out. <laughs> and then we have Celestial Velocity. This is, it was a sci-fi adventure romance, and this is by Mary Ash. And it says, a brilliant engineer on the run. The space pirate hired to retrieve her. Together, they must escape biker trolls and dodge bounty hunters in pursuit of the truth in this spicy sci-fi fantasy adventure romance, the first in a new series. Um, yeah, all of that sounds fun. And we're on the last category. This is just category is fantasy romance because I didn't know how else to categorize these. They were all a little bit different. The first one being Caught in the Devil's Hands by Ruby Duvall. Okay, complete cover by, in fact, I think there's two or three, there's three books in this series. Check out the covers. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, this one is a 280 page novel. It's a full length fantasy romance featuring demons, awakened magic powers, and a steamy romance between an incubus and a young woman who can't help wanting him. This looks just, I'm like crossing my fingers. This is good because these covers are just gorgeous, gorgeous. And the next one is Rain and Ruin. This is by J.D. Evans. I have heard that this is more of a political fantasy with maybe like a hint of romance, um, but it's supposed to be epic and dark. Um, so I will definitely try it out. Um, when I'm feeling more of just the straight fantasy vibes. So we have Blessed by the Maiden. This is by Demi Clarissa. And the tagline on this one says, three tests, five lords, swear a blood oath or die. So it sounds like there's going to be some tests, some lords. Are you white shoes? I don't know. Just as the Lord of Wolves begins to consume her every waking thought, the mysterious Lord of the Shadows casts himself across her path. Okay, maybe it is Why Choose. Okay. And then I saw Heavenly Bodies was available during this sale. This is by Imani Iru. Iru? I'm so sorry. That's terrible. Uh, that's probably the, the worst <laughs> pronunciation. I apologize. I don't know anything about this one. I've heard people love it. And actually, me and a couple of friends who are not part of the bookish community are actually starting to read this. So um, I am going in blind on this one, and I just hope I like it. And then we have Winter's Bride, which is by Nellie C. Lind. I thought this was perfect for the Once Upon a Readathon happening right now that I'm part of. Um, I'm a co-captain for Snow Princesses. Holla, Snow Princesses. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know anything about this other than uh, she's a bride and it's in winter times. <laughs> and then my last book for this haul is The Storm King by Sarah Sellers. And it says she was the Storm King's bride, a summer princess banished from the sun, a prize offered up in desperate bid for peace, and now a servant to the enemy. Um, enemies to lovers, arranged marriage, princess in disguise, Hades and Persephone, all of the good keywords, including breeding kink. That's been a new thing for me lately. I don't know why, but I really enjoy books with breeding kink. Maybe it's a fantasy romance thing. I, I don't know. So anyways, those are all the books <laughs> that I downloaded on Stuff Your Kindle Day. This day happens, I think, quarterly, so the next one will be in the end of March. However, you can look up free books on Amazon all the time, any day. In fact, if you do it right now, you'll probably find some. All you have to do is Google Amazon free Kindle books. I always choose romance, so I say Amazon free romance Kindle books, and up pops a list, and then I just start digging. <laughs> Anyways, if you've stuck with me for this long, um, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do so. It really helps out my small channel. Um, I always creating bookish content, especially for fantasy romance. So <laughs> thank you again. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.